Hello, welcome to my kitchen. So right now I am making the Mexican stack dinner. So I've made the sauce in the Thermomix and now all I have to do is build it and it is super easy and delicious. So I'm going to just tilt my camera down. So what I've got here are just tortillas or wraps. Now I often just use tortillas because I buy them for lunch boxes and then, you know, you don't use the whole packet. So don't, you know, have to go and buy something especially just use what you've got that's my um biggest takeaway from last year at a time when you didn't want to just rush to the supermarket with one ingredient that you might not have improvise and also that whole zero waste thing so if you've got an open packet of something what can you make with that open packet so it doesn't go to waste so i've got just hold as wraps here but if you wanted to buy you know mexican tortillas you can do that as well and it's as simple as just layering it up until you've used all the sauce. So, and how easy, because kids love this. It's kind of a Mexican lasagna kind of um, take on the Mexican lasagna. And super easy because you're not mucking around with other ingredients like your bechamel or whatever, although bechamel would be pretty nice in here. Anything with cheese is nice, but don't worry, there's going to be cheese on the top. So it's a bit more than a ladle on each, each layer. Um, now, some people do this in a spring form tin. I've actually just got it on a pizza tray because I like the edges kind of go a bit crusty and I actually really like that. So a bit sort of crunchy, crusty. So put another layer on there. Beautiful. And I've probably got about a couple of ladles left. Put that on. Now you might notice that the handle on your Thermomix jug is a triangular shape. That is because it's ergonomic. So tell you what, Thermomix, it's made in Germany. Those Germans have thought of everything, trust me on that. So it's got a triangular handle. So if you hold it at the top for lifting up and down, that's perfect. But when you're pouring, if you hold it at the bottom of the triangle, uh, and I mean like that, it means you're just pouring from your elbow. You're not getting your whole back into it. So if you ever feel yourself tipped over doing the old arm of little teapot, pop your jug down and then pick it back up using that method I just said. Alrighty, so I've got my last layer now. So I'm going to just lather this on here. Yum. This is so good. The other thing I love about this is that you could make the sauce even the night before and then when you got home from work or being out for the day, you could just build it and pop it in the oven then because what happens now after I build it is it goes in the oven for about 15 minutes. So here we are. Beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. All right. And then at the very last layer, it goes on the top like that. And then earlier in the recipe, the very first step, so Thermomix is very clever and it always does things intuitively. So even though I didn't need this to the end, I don't need to wash my bowl to do this. So this little mixture here is tasty cheese, spring onion, garlic and parsley. So I'm just going to spread that. I'm just going to spread that one out with my fingers there because they're super clean. I wash them a hundred times a day, maybe more. And yum, look at that. So now I'm going to pop this straight in the oven for about 25 minutes. And when it's ready, you literally just cut it like a pizza into wedges and I'm going to make some guacamole while that's in the oven and serve it with a big dollop of guacamole and a big dollop of sour cream and it is delicious. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to pop this in the oven now and I will post the finished products later. Bon appetit.